Good afternoon, troopers. I'm fat, but I don't live in a post-atomic wasteland. Yet. What is it, Saturday? Let's see what they can conjure up for the end of the week. Right. I've been playing Fallout Shelter on my PS4 for a while. And um, some of you might be thinking, that's a bit daft, really, playing a free-to-play mobile game on... The console, the, the, one, an expensive console that's current gen. But I've really enjoyed playing it. I really have. It's a really, it's, if you think of games as a pastime, sometimes we don't have the mental energy to go on a huge quest. or Sometimes we do, but sometimes we don't want to explore strange new worlds and get ripped off by a AAA again. Um, sometimes we just want something we could turn our brains off to and be in control of. And psychologically speaking... It's important to be in charge of something when you're a human being. Um, that's why it's important to, that's why we strive to better ourselves at work or in education or whatever. It, when we're in control of ourself, we feel happier. And when we're not in control, that's when we feel worse. And when you're controlling things in an environment, that's why people make train sets and Lego and Warhammer models and collections even. It's an inbuilt monkey brain thing that likes order and in, to be able to look at something and go, yes, I've made that happen. So with the, when you build your fallout shelter, you've made that happen. I've made that happen. I've been playing it for two months, maybe more. So it hasn't cost me a dime either. On the PlayStation, it seems much less money hungry. When I played it mobile, it seemed like it was really pushing me to buy loot boxes, but now it, it doesn't at all. Um, in fact, it gives you a good head start when you play on PlayStation because you get a PS Plus bonus. I, I, I agree with that because I think Bethesda have had more than enough money out of me. Um, by the way, this is a bit of a serious video, grown up conversation, um, no burping and silly messing. So, I'm wearing the helmet though. Got a trademark, haven't you? There's so many fat guys talking about video games on YouTube, you've got to have something different. Even in this weather, it's really uncomfortable. Anyway, so I've got to the point now where my vault is essentially finished. I've got 200 um, inhabitants, you can't have any more. I've got loads that are up to level 50 with maxed out stats. And I've got a huge surplus of fuel, energy, um, food and water. Um, got a great armory I've got a great wardrobe and I've got dudes out earning money all the time and even when death claws death claws attack the vault they only managed to get like into two rooms um, so we're pretty much sorted now we've, we've reached the end so what's the next step well the next step is the vault I've got is pretty higgledy piggledy because even though I've tried to organize it as I've gone needs most at the time and this stuff everywhere so i think what we're going to do now is i've got everyone i can out into the wasteland collecting caps and, and stuff mostly caps and i'm going to build the biggest horde of, of gold of caps i can and then i'm just going to send everyone out bye a bit like the uh, fallout 76 only not shit that was a swear word sorry um, I'm going to send everyone out who's not level 50 and maxed. Uh, and I think that'll probably leave me with a, you know, and even some of the level 50 and maxed, the ones that I don't like the look of. These undesirable types. Um, and then I think I'm going to rebuild the vault in in a, a theme and in a, um, a style. I've got quite a few themes sorted out now as well from Quest. But that's a big step because, like I was saying earlier, I've created this vault now. I'm their god. I'm their overseer. So for me to destroy it, there's no backup. There's no way that once I've done this, I can go back to it and go, no, I was only kidding. So it is a bit of a gamble because I've invested a lot of time and mental energy into this game. And that's how it gets you. It is quite addictive. Um, so the next step is to get a huge haul of money so that I can pretty much do what I want. Get rid of everyone I don't want to keep on. Get rid of all the buildings I don't want to keep. And then basically rebuild the vault in the way I see fit. Um, 
and, and then we'll see how that goes. But I wanted to do this video because I did a video the other week for about Fallout Shelter just for my nephew Lewis. And that's got like one of my biggest view counts. More than talking about like the Pit Boy and stuff. Um, so there's obviously a bit of an interest in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Uh, would you want to have a quick look at the vault? Let's have a look at the vault. You wait there. So this is the vault. I should really have had my remote on hand, my controller on hand, but I, 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 don't, I don't think these through. <sighs> Loading times. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay, here we go. So we've got the, the entrance and everything. We've got living quarters and there's just stuff going on. You know what I mean? It goes all the way down. Battery level low. Yes, I know. I'll tell you what, I never had that chore with a PS3. So let's collect some stuff while we're here. We've got robots doing that, but... Um, yeah, so as you can see, it's, it's a right higgledy-piggledy bonkers mess. Uh, that sounds like a nursery rhyme, doesn't it? Higgledy-piggledy bonkers mess. No? Anyway. So I'm going to get rid of everyone that I don't like. Um, and I'm going to say, off you go. And I'm going to destroy every room I'm not going to be using. Even rooms that are maxed out. Because I'm going to start from a clean slate. That's why I want loads of money. Because I'm going to have to build a lot of rooms again from scratch. Uh, but luckily I won't have to get rid of any of the, the rocks. Because they can get quite expensive. Because the rocks will be cleared all the way down. I won't have to buy any weapons or anything. Because I've got loads of gold and blue weapons. I've got loads of gold and blue outfits. And I've got some really high level person poison out. But I want little things like, you know, special. That's the Fallout kind of um, character traits. I want it to be strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, luck. I don't want it to be like, oh, you go there to do that and there to do that and there to do that. I want it to be in a, you know, I want it to be neat and aligned, you know, monkey brain. So that's the plan. So um, once I've got enough money, I think it's never going to be enough. But I'm going to have to get to a level where I think I've got enough. What I'm going to do is pull the plug. Get rid of all the level ones that are specialised. So the guys that are in the, the power plant that are just 10 on strength and that's it. Bye. Um, all the guys, the, the level ones that are in storage rooms that are nothing. Ones and twos and they just stand there in a outfit stopping the rats coming in. All gone. Clear lower deck as my dad used to say. Even though he wasn't a nautical man. Sweating. Um, and then we'll build the vault again and hopefully we can build something um, quite creative. Anyway, that's me done. Um, and there might be, there'll be another one later on because uh, I want to do something this evening about times I've really, really been, I've paid too much for stuff. Because there's a few things I was looking around and I was like, I overpaid for that, you know. And there's some things I got a real bargain on. And there's some things I really pulled my own pants down on. So... That'll be tonight's video, but this is just a quick of this afternoon, just talking about Fallout Shelter, my Fallout Shelter design, and the fact that I've got a plan to take it somewhere, rather than just leave it ticking away without taking any risks. So if you enjoyed this video, subscribe. Uh, if you're already subscribed, hit the bell. Don't hit me. Hit the bell, uh, and that'll tell you when I upload a new video. And then like it. Don't do the do, do the do. And make a comment if you play Fallout Shelter or if you're genuinely tired of Bethesda's BS. Because it is getting out. We've, we've let them get away with far too much for so long. We have. We genuinely have. Um, if you ask most people what their favourite Fallout game is, they'll say New Vegas. And that wasn't even a Bethesda game. Um, so I think it's time that they got called out on some of their practices i think fallout 76 they probably had laudable agendas to start with but i think they followed the dollar um and i think it's not it's it should never have been a full price triple a game it should have been like a tenner just to cover just to cover a little bit and then monetize to the hill i prefer that than what they did so okay so i'm recapping now if you enjoyed the video like subscribe hit um, the bell and there'll be another video tonight about times when I've had my pants completely taken down on paying over the odds because 
I get excited. And I'm like, yeah, 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 I want that. I want that. I want that. And then I get it home and I go, oh, I paid about 10 or 10 months for that. Anyway, thanks for watching the videos. Let me know if you play Fallout Shelter. It is good. And I'll see you later on. Bye.